So I got the audio on. Let's go ahead and work on these two problems. So ladies and gentlemen, what the, what the problem says, and I'm actually going to go through the whole problem with you because what we're going to work on next is the graphing. I know some of you already graphed, which is awesome. Those of you, though, that didn't know how to do the transformation or the graph, we're going to work on that as well. So what I want you guys to do is describe the translation in each equation, then graph the function. So first of all, ladies and gentlemen, this function is y equals absolute value of x minus 2. Remember in our notes, we talked about parent functions, right? So what we need to do for number 3 is when you're trying to understand the translation, you need to know what the parent function is. And the parent function for this is going to be any guesses? Anybody? just y equals absolute value of x. right? Because remember, the parent function is going to be your simplest form of your function. Here, I have absolute value of x. Here, I have absolute value of x minus 2. All right? Now, the next thing we need to determine is our c, what we talked about in our notes. c was our transformation. It, it altered our function. But there was a big difference if that transformation was inside the function or outside the function. So the next thing you want to do is determine, is this negative 2, is that inside of this function or is it outside of the function? Anybody want to try to give her? It's outside the function, right? If it was inside the function, ladies and gentlemen, it would look like this. That's inside. This is outside. OK, I'll even write it. Outside inside. So by using your transformation notes, which you should have done and written, what happened when you had a minus a transformation on the outside? What did it tell you to do? It goes down too. So all you guys had to write here was shift two units down. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's go through how we're going to graph this. All right. I didn't ask you guys to graph it for your homework last night, but let's go through it so we can try to complete the rest of these. All right. So what I'm going to do here is, first thing, when trying to graph, it's important for you guys to graph the parent function. Just graph every single one of these. You guys should identify the parent function and then graph it. All right. So this is the absolute value of x. So let's graph it. I showed you in your notes what the graph looked like. So you guys should already have an example of every parent graph that you had to graph. So you guys could graph it. Then what did we tell the transformation told us to do? To told us to go what? Down two units, right? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and shift it down two units. OK? So that is y equals absolute value of x minus 2. You guys see what that is and how to graph it? Does that make sense a little bit more? No? Questions? Preguntas? Okay, there you go. Caught in. 